Hey, what's up guys, this is Kamlesh from the Inbox Geek Heroes on the video. In today's video, I'm gonna be installing a second uh, NVMe M.2 SSD to my Alienware M15 R2 over here. But before seeing the video itself, I would like to apologize for not making any videos. I know it's been ages. Uh, it's just that I've been really very busy. Guys. It's a long story. So, yes, that being said, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video, guys. mentioned before this is the alienware m15 r2 over here uh, this came uh, stock with the 256k uh, m.2 nvme ssd and uh, obviously i didn't purchase the uh, dell's uh, ssds because they are pretty expensive i don't know how do they do the pricing uh, so uh, the second hard drive i'm gonna just going to be using it for my storage purposes that's why i got this intel 660p uh, uh, m.2 nvme ssd uh, this is fairly cheap when compared to uh, other ssds because it's not that fast and uh, yes this also comes in three different variants one is 512 gig and one tb and this over here is the 2 tb variant so it also comes with a five year warranty so without any further ado let's go ahead and uh, pop the pack open and install the ssd over here guys this is not a rocket science over here this is just plug and play just like how you upgrade the rams in your laptops or pc so here is my uh, intel's this is the full size ssd and uh, yeah i also got few of uh, heat sinks for this uh, drive because obviously this gets pretty hot and uh, i'm just gonna see the stock temperature and if needed i'm just gonna switch between these and see which one fits perfectly for my laptop and uh, uh, yeah i'll go buy it and you won't be needing an extra screw because the screw is already built in so let's take it out I'll just pop the back in over here real quick and I'll just take you back uh, inside the laptop screen and show you guys how to set this up. So I'll be back in a moment guys. Okay, welcome back guys. So after you have uh, plugged in your NVMe SSD drive over here, uh, just when you're booting up your computer, go to BIOS by clicking F2 and check if your drive is showing up over there. If it is not, then you have to uh, do further testing and see if uh, your drive is compatible with your motherboard option. and. If it is showing up, then exit out of it and uh, log into your computer and then go to this PC or my computer and see if your drive is showing up over there. If it is not, then uh, go to my computer and right click over here and go to manage. And then go to disk management under storage. And then over here, you'll see unallocated uh, space over here and for that uh, you have to click on new simple volume click on uh, an allocated space and go to new simple volume and then click next and then just go ahead and click next and if you want to assign a drive letter then do that i'll just leave it uh, as it is and then click next for the volume label i'll do since it's going to be my storage drive, I'll just go ahead and click next and uh, yes, finish and 
Boom. Oh, I think now you can exit out of here and see if it is showing up in my computer. And voila, there you go, guys. It is showing up as storage and the available uh, space is 1.86 TB out of 2 TB over here, guys. So that's that. And just in case if it's not showing up for you guys uh, in the disk management over here, because initially for me it wasn't showing up over here. So for that, what I did is I did a memory diagnostic. So for that, go to Windows search and type in Windows memory diagnostic and do this uh, it probably takes I mean for me it took 20 25 minutes um, I don't know it'll take longer or shorter depending upon your computer do this and this actually fixed uh, for me then it automatically showed up over here after the computer restarts so yeah that's that I hope you guys uh, found this video helpful if you guys have any doubts and issues make sure to mention it down in the comment section below and I'll definitely make sure to help you guys out that's it guys, thanks for watching.